And I am sorry about that. I got cut off. My camera memory was full, but as I was saying, these rubbery parts right here uh, broke from his crotch place. Um, crotch plate. And, um, yeah, so they don't really work anymore. He still stands. Doesn't really affect him. I'm trying to get him to stand. There. He stands. And, um, yeah, you can. The main thing here is that you can. Here. You can take these and you can split them apart separately and fold them together. Give them his blades. Which is a nice, interesting way to keep his blades out and keep them, like, from not flipping down and stuff, you know, like, so they don't have any, like, they don't, like, flop down, they stay forward, which is good. Um, now for a size comparison, uh, let's get his version of, his, well, his... Um, you know, human mind version. Sorry. Over here. Try to get this guy standing, and now he's falling, and everything goes kaboom. And there we go. And try to get him standing. Having this camera here that I can't knock over is not helping. There we go. Papa and son. Um, no. Um, yeah, so he actually comes up to about... Um... Yeah, around his waist. Around his waist, around then. Um... Yeah. That's that comparison. And in here... Oh. I'm still on the camera. Well, that doesn't matter. I didn't show you anything that you would be totally offended by. Uh, um, here, put this down here. Set this guy up. Here he is with sidearm side stripe. And, dang, he's actually shorter? Wait, wait. Oh, his legs aren't fully extended. Sidearm side stripe. Because I'm like, sidearm side stripe is the short one. Well, he's not really short, but the smaller one. There, that's more like it. Okay, and see. Yeah, yeah, he's actually still taller. But um his arms are much, much, much shorter, which I hate those short little arms. That's what I hate about side arms are right. But that's not about him, it's about this guy. Um, yeah. See there they look pretty similar. It's just he doesn't have the blades. And they're actually his head comes up to about his chest. So there's some size comparisons. Now to get on to articulation, which is gonna be hard to shoot. Here, let's get this that. Um he has a, his head is on a ball joint, but kinda limited of all the stuff around him. So it can live left and right and not really up, it can look up a bit, but not too really down. To match his arms on a ball joint, go like in and out, forward and back. Bends at two points of the elbow. Wait. Yeah, two points of the elbow. Um, hands can go in. Oh, you know, wrist. And um, no waist articulation. Legs can go forward. Just try not to stretch it out that much. Because that's the reason why they break, because you can't really stretch it out. That's why they're broken. I guess it's a, actually kind of gives him more articulation. And he bends at the knees. He had this mech alive get mech. <coughs> you bend that and those panel comes out. doesn't really... It's like, you know, a mech alive is just sort of like showing that they're like working robots. They're gears, not just toys, which is nice. And his feet, I guess, can pivot up and down, even though if you move them much, he's going to fall down. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, this guy is a really good figure. My final rating is like 10 out of 10. He's a fantastic figure. The backpack really isn't that bad because, I mean, that's that's supposed to be there. It's like that in the movie. So, 
Honestly, this is a great figure. He's not in stores anymore, but he probably isn't that much on eBay. And yeah, um, he's a really good figure. Um, Transformers, Avengers Fallen, Sideswipe. See ya.